house shopping. So much room for activities. Cheese. We love a tub. I think the kids are very happy. It's very pretty. A Jack and Jill for Rai Rai and baby number three. That's so cute. And then this is your closet. Oh no, that's a toilet. But we put in an offer on a house and it got accepted. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting Our day. Our channel. Ew, it's called Brielle Cherie. We're a family. Just because we're married doesn't mean I'm What's take credit for all the work that I do. Yeah. Anyways, welcome back to our channel. That's Today right. is a very exciting day, one that we've been waiting for since literally 2019. You already know by the title of today's video, our realtor is gonna be here any second, so let's just get to it. House shopping! Woo! <laughs> Construction equipment. It's a pool. Okay, this room, we would never use it as a sunroom, so we'd wanna make this the master looking out over the pool. The kitchen would definitely need some work. Maybe even we would try to break this wall down here. So much room for activities. This would be the living room. So we would we would build a fireplace right there, Gray Gray, and then our couch would go right here. What if we made this into a rug? A rug? Yeah, we'd yeah. put a rug too. Oh, there goes Rai Rai. We'd take that one out. Why That's do we have a fire extinguisher? Extinguisher? And <laughs> just in case that thing starts on fire. It's a little old. There's a deck off into the backyard. Yep, we're gonna go down to the basement. Come on. Hello. Well, we were in and out of there pretty quick. Yep. Yeah. Um, immediately the smell was a no for me. And I know you yeah, can get I mean rid of it. But it like smelled like old people and just dusty and not welcoming. I think a lot of that lives in the carpet and the walls. So after new paint and new flooring, yeah, it would, it would that would probably do a lot. But then even just like an ozone treatment uh, to cancel out new uh, odors can can help a lot too. The sunroom that we would have used as the master bedroom, there was yep. uh, no central AC in there or no AC at all. So the sunroom and then that room that the living room where you step up four steps, those yep. were both additions. Okay. And they they didn't bother hooking them up to central air. So they instead they just put in wall units. Which we, we could deal with. We could do something what's called a mini split. That place had so much potential and it it could have been super, super cool, but again, that only would have been three bedrooms upstairs. If we would have converted and two down. Yeah. I know, but you know how I feel about the kids' rooms downstairs. So you walk in. Cheese. Hello. Hello. Yep, we'll go downstairs in a second. So this right here is technically the living room. Super big and bright. The one thing is I would love a fireplace in our living room. You've got this right here, which we could do like kind of what's behind our bed frame with like the slats would be really cool. Oh, we're going upstairs? Yeah. Yeah? Welcome home. Hi. Hi. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I love the light coming in. If I'm being completely honest, it feels a little bit like a townhouse. Like this separation, I don't love. It's definitely got more vaulted ceilings, which is what we were looking for. You would overlook the living room here. It's got a fireplace. Grayson is already playing with the lights, making himself at home. Your dining table would be here. Absolutely love the light in here compared to the last house. This is definitely in the- smell this. I'm sure it smells fantastic. Does it, it smells bad. Oh, okay. This is definitely in the running, but it does feel a little bit like a townhouse. Mom. Okay, so you've got a deck going outside. Let's see. Hey, look, a basketball hoop. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Come on, let's go back. Let's go. Okay. Uh, this house is not very cute. Okay, so this is the master bathroom. We love a tub. And you got your shower, your nipple light. We definitely need to be renovated. But the master bedroom is vaulted, which is really cool. Two bedrooms on the top floor is not gonna fly with me. I want at least three, hopefully four. As I say, I, I do, do it. it. Good job. What's up with the stairs here? There's like, you can like see where the nails got put in or something. first house that we saw, it was not in like the neighborhood and the city. Can you buckle? Yeah, and I drove the wrong way. Okay. It was not in the
in the city that we wanted, but it was so unique. It had a pool that we're like, let's just check it out and look and see if maybe that is something that we would want. But now we're in the city that we want. This last house that we toured, although we don't like it, Taylor's not not sold on it. You're I would still okay be willing to put an offer in on it that's below asking price. The stairs going downstairs were warped. Our real estate agent was saying that like the gutters were super cheap and there was like a ton of things that would need to be fixed on it. It's still under our budget though, but yes. it would need a ton of work. But now that we're in this city, by Grayson School, like this is the vibe that we're going for and this is what we want. So It feels much more neighborhood. It yeah, feels so, much and the fall time, highly suggest looking for houses in the fall. Like it's Medical such a vibe fall. right now. It's so cool. It's giving Hubie Halloween. I'm just kidding. Riser, say Halloween. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Good job, Ry. So now we're going to tour, I think, what is this? This, this is, is what house we're number really three. About. Oh, yeah. This house we have had our eye on for forever. Is that Keith? Yeah, he wouldn't. He just saw a real estate sign and pulled it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally says sold. What is he doing? Is this it? Yeah. We've seen this one on Zillow for literal months. The siding looks fantastic. The siding does look really good. It looks the one at least on the garage. Okay, let's go. Okay, what's this? Wait, so what do you what kind This of is the master. Like oh, this so this isn't the master? For some reason I thought the master was right here. No. Could be. So what? I think they what would we do, do here? here? I think they No, do. this this will have a master back. This house will. Oh, okay. I think the reason maybe, I mean, you could talk on this. The reason why this has been listed for so long is because it is such a unique layout and like everyone's yeah. like, what do I use? In the sure. listing photos, this is staged as a playroom. There's yeah, toys in here, room. there's, yeah, it's vir it's virtually staged, oh, yeah. yeah. A place for his gator. Oh, nice. A place for his gator. Cute bubba. Oh my goodness, okay, so this would be Taylor and I's room. This is the primary bedroom. Overlooking a lake. And then this would definitely need some work. It's very dark in there. I'm sure we can make it cool. Maybe even add a skylight. I think the kids are very happy. Right, right, look. I think this is Riser's room. Wait. Four. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna be able to paint that wall. Yeah, that, that wall is gonna stay. There's a whole other thing in this room. Yeah, we don't like birds though, Keith. What? No. What is this a thing? We like oh. underwater animals. Under oh my god. Real has a fear of birds. Uh, <gasps> Look at Dory. What do you think? Momo. Yeah, we would have to add a Momo, huh? A Momo. Momo. Huge unfinished basement with like tons of potential and a walkout. Do you know what we would do right here? Hot tub. Okay, this is, what, house number four? House number four. Yeah. This is house number four, but again, is giving like a townhouse vibe, and because we've lived in a townhouse since 2019, that we're just gonna, works. that's great, we're gonna skip it. Uh, the sink doesn't, apparently. Huh. So this would be my office. I think technically this would be a dining room, maybe? Really, really great storage in the kitchen. Yeah? yeah. This is beautiful, but this is different than what we would want anyways. We would want like a concrete fireplace and then maybe some built-ins next to it, so that would take money and this is at the top of our budget. Then you'd have the dining table here. That all looks great, but I don't like the tile backsplash and I don't like the center island. I think this one might be a little too small. So we have three beds here. Oh, then yeah, we don't want three bed. Okay, you've got a lofted area up here, which we maybe could turn into a fourth bedroom. I love the color of the cabinets. No walk-in closets. Have to change all of the lights. Okay, so this would be the master. You've got a vaulted ceiling, grand doors, and then through here, you've got a bathroom and a walk-in closet. So I love the color of these, but we would just want to switch the hardware out. This would be so beautiful to film in with this light coming in. It just feels small, it's at the top of our budget, and it's cookie cutter. But would be a great, like, okay, let's move in and just have it be done. Okay, another new construction home. I love the color of these cabinets. I'd switch these out for black. But I mean, this is beautiful. Oh, look at baby, the little like coffee bar area. I would definitely switch out these lights. 
I mean, that's beautiful, but again, I would want to switch that out. You've got a whole actual dining space over there. It's very pretty. I don't entirely like the floor, and we know that I'm a light wood galley girl, so I'd have to change the lights, the fireplace, the wood, and again, this one is top, top of our budget. You have to see this staircase. Are we kidding? What do you think, Ray? Uh, so far. No. Do you like that other house? We have a different sort of house. No, we're not Zach and Cody, okay? That's what they do. Zach and Cody would totally do something like that, wouldn't they? Okay, another lofted area. So this is probably their playroom. This is one of the bedrooms. Got a walk-in closet. There's Rai Rai. Bye-bye. Very nice bathroom. Super bright and spacious. This would probably be your room, Gray Gray. What do you think about that? Because you're the oldest. You get the one with the bathroom. Can you open that door? Your brother just trapped himself in the closet. A Jack and Jill for Rai Rai and baby number three. That's so cute. You're gonna like Good? it. Yeah, that's so pretty. Look at the bathroom. <gasps> the marbles got to go. No, nope, I don't mind it at all. Okay, I don't like the bottom part though. I would rather do hexagon than herringbone. What do you think? I think this is the hot girlfriend with the bad attitude. <laughs> I heard like, you keep that. What does that even mean? Like she's a lot of fun. <gasps> Um, 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 why did no one mention the closet? I thought you had eyes. Okay, you're rude. And then this is your closet? Oh no, that's the toilet. I do like this bathroom. Okay, well this is definitely a contender if I'm being completely honest. So we got pre-approved on a Friday and then went house shopping the very next day, saw six houses, and obviously there were some very, very high contenders. And we can go more in depth, maybe I'll do like story times on TikTok about why we didn't choose some of the houses because some of the houses were incredible. But we put in an offer on a house and it got accepted. I I literally can't believe it. Like you if you guys have been here since the beginning, we've been living in that 900 square foot townhouse for so many years. I counted out 5 years we've lived in that townhouse. Two of those years the boys were sharing a room and we really outgrew that space. I feel like that's why I always felt like I mean, yes, we can still declutter so much. So overwhelmed by the mess and just feeling kind of trapped. We were blessed to own that home starting I bought it when I was 22. And in this day and age that is a huge blessing and I I just cannot believe that we're now moving into a home. I'm not gonna get emotional, but this has been a long time coming, a dream come true. Let me know in the comments which house you think we bought. I did post some sneak peeks over on TikTok, so you might be able to clearly put it together. Stay tuned for my next vlog. It'll be going live in the next couple of days. It will be a house tour. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Seriously, none of this would be possible without you guys. I cannot thank you. Enough, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me, for watching my content. You don't know how much it means and how much it's changed our lives. I love you guys, I hope you have a very blessed week and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.